Welcome to our lecture online. There were days that the United States and the cowboy and ranching and cattle were synonymous. That's what we were famous for and many movies were made by, about cowboys taking vast herds of cattle across the prairies and across grazing land to go from one place to another to find grass for the cattle to feed on. And for many years beef was the mainstay of the protein that people ate in the United States. But those days are now over. Chicken has become the king of protein in the United States. It turns out that people by and large eat way more chicken than they do beef or pork or any other kind of meat. Well, as you can see here that the current consumption per year for chicken is ranges somewhere between 90 and 100 pounds per year for each person where beef is only 56 pounds, pork 48 pounds, fish and self shellfish 20 pounds, and turkey about 15 pounds. So chicken reigns supreme. Now it turns out to, to do that, the United States produces 9.2 billion chickens every single year, 27 chickens per year per person. Now not all those chickens are used for human consumption. Some are exported outside the country. Some are used for pet food and things like that. But uh, by and large, chicken is by far the most consumed meat in the United States. And the reason for that is a hatchling can turn into full-grown chicken ready for slaughter in a period of five to seven weeks. In less than two months, a hatchling is full-grown and can be slaughtered. And so we can then produce chickens very, very rapidly. And it only takes about four to six pounds of feet per chicken. Compared to what it takes to raise beef and pork, it's a lot easier, simpler, and cheaper. It's fast, it's cheap, and therefore chicken by and large is, much, is the cheapest meat that we can buy of anything in the supermarket. So it's not a surprise. And that trend is just going to continue. It's, it's so easy to produce chickens versus the other types of meat. So if you wonder what reigns supreme in the United States, it's the chicken.